Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and this is what we're going to make today. It's just a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half card, and we're using some of the items from our October kit and some of the items from our add on, as well as just a few pieces from our stash. Just a quick and easy card so that we can use up some of our scrap pieces again. All right, let's get into the video. So the very first thing that you're gonna need is a card base, and this one is a top folding card, and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am just gonna go ahead and take my pen and do some stitch lines around it. This is a Signo white gel pen. I'm just gonna do some stitch marks around the edges before I put anything else down. So after I did my stitch marks, now I have decided that I wanted to round the edges of my card. So we'll do that and then I'll probably have to go back and do some extra stitch marks in there. Let's see. And I think I'm going to do it on the half inch. I'm going to round the half inch. That'll make it look a little bit better, I think. So even round the one where you've got your score line. All right, then I can just go back in and round my stitch marks off there. Afterthought here. All right, that still works. And then we're gonna go ahead and round this piece off. This piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm just using my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. And then we're going to put that down right there. This is some of the paper from our October kit. And I'm just going to show you that even though you might not think this is a fall kit, I'm going to show you that you can make a fall card out of this. You can use it for fall. So there we go. We've got that down. And now I have cut just a piece of scrap from another paper collection that is fall. This is from the My Favorite Fall. This was the add-on kit. And I've got it cut at one and a half inches by four, uh, five and a quarter. And then I have taken my punch, just this punch right here. It's like a branch punch. And I have punched out some of those branches and I'm going to run those right down the edge right there. So I'm just going to flip this over and put some glue on here. And then I'll lay this down and I'm going to lay it right up to the edge of where the branches start. right there and then I'm just going to take my scissors and these are the new Tim Holtz haberdashery scissors they have that fine tip so you can do those nice little clippings that you need to do they're really good for fussy cutting and they are very very sharp they're not serrated like his other the shears and the big scissors are so they are very very nice we have a few left in stock I got them in last week and I sold a ton of them so I'll leave that link below if you want to go over and check them out but you can get into just real intricate little places with these like I've got a little place right there that I need to clip and there we go now I'm gonna put this on this side And again, I'm going to put it close to the edge there so that all you see is that uh, branch. Sometimes when I'm crafting, and even though I have done videos for years and years and years, sometimes when I'm crafting, it's so hard for me to get the words out because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. Let me know if you do videos. Let me know in the comments below if that happens to you. I know sometimes I say, uh, and I hate to do that. 
<laughs> but I get so into what I'm doing, I forget that the camera's on. There we go. I'm going to put that up on foam tape. Okay, and we're going to put this right down the center. As close as we can get it anyway. We'll line it up right here. So I can use my grid to kind of center it up. There we go. So we've got that. And then I have used my favorite circle dies. And this is the two and three quarter one. And I will link those below. You can still get these. Now I'm going to take my Signo pen again and I'm going to go around the edges of this and make some stitch marks. And I'm making them right at the very tip. I will link these pins below as well. We still have quite a few of these. So there is the stitch marks. And then I have a white circle here, and this is uh, two and three eighths. And I'm going to do a little bit of inking on this, and I'm going to use my vintage photo. I want this to look kind of dim, kind of dark around the edges, and a little bit up on the piece here. I want to kind of blend it out. There we go. That looks good enough. That's what we did. And then I'm going to put this up on some foam tape as well. We're going to put that right in the center. Right there. Okay. And then this is going to go right there. Again, foam tape. Can you tell I love my foam tape? I love to put dimensions on cards. To me, they it just makes a plain card look a lot better when you put dimension on it. All right, so we are going to try to center that up right there. Let me look at that. That looks pretty good. And then I have taken this color in this background right here, and it's kind of a greenish teal or maybe a light teal. And I have used my uh, Lawn Fawn dye here. This is a stitched hillside border dye. And if I can find it, I'll link it below. I love this die. It's got three diff or four different styles in there. And I have just cut out a couple of pieces here. And I'm going to make kind of a little heel, I think. I'm just going to put one under the other, kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to pull this up because I need to put this down before I glue it on there. So I'm just going to pull that up. I'm going to stick it right there. And I need to put this on here before I glue it to my page so that I can trim it off. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one down first. And I'm just going to glue it at the bottom. I'm going to go kind of at an angle, and then I'm going to put this one down. All right, now I'm just going to flip it over and trim that off. Okay, I trimmed that up even with the white piece, so if you're putting this down, make sure you put it down before you glue your white piece down. And see, I could have cut that out, but I left it in for you guys because I know sometimes y'all like to see that I make a mistake too. And I do. I make my fair share of them. And then I've got this little piece of yellow that I'm going to use for the moon. And I'm just going to ink around it a little bit. I'm going to put it up on a pop dot. All right, and then I have these three little pumpkins out of the, uh, these two are out of the chipboard, and that's out of the sticker sheet. And I'll just tuck that one under there, then I'm going to put this one on the little heel. Right. 
there. And then we'll put this one over here sitting on this little hill. So there's our pumpkin sitting there. And then I have this little banner and it just says apples, pears, pumpkins, and squash. And we're going to put that down there at the bottom. Then I just have a little orange button that I have tied a bow on. I'm gluing that bow so that the thread doesn't come out of it. Let down for a second. And we're just going to put that right there. Alright, so that is it. We're going to call this card finished. Quick and easy, simple, just using some of the items that we got from our October kit and then some items from the add-on. And then just a few pieces from our scraps. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell when that bell pops up so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.